All right, so we're back with part two. And we're going to now take a black eyeshadow. It can be matte or it can have shimmer to it, whatever you prefer. I like matte. So I'm gonna take carbon eyeshadow and close to the lash line, I'm gonna bring it inward. I'm also gonna blend it into that teal that I put on. The more I look at this, the more I realize this would have been a great St. Patrick's Day look. Should have been on ball, uh, the ball and did that, but I guess not, oh well. One thing I've noticed, especially, well, specifically with my old YouTube page, is that whenever holidays would come around, I'd like dip out. I wouldn't be anywhere to do a look, and I'm gonna do my best to not do that this time. I don't know why that happened. Like, I had great ideas for Christmas looks, Halloween looks, and then I get sick or be over filming and I just wouldn't do it. Okay. There, much better. Ooh, I love it. Can you guys see that? I'm sorry for the follow right there. See how all those colors work so well together? Yes! This is what we want. I'm gonna take a shade stick. I haven't used these in a while and I understand that MAC is relaunching them. I'm gonna use Shimmer Sand. I don't know if this one is still out or not. But we're gonna use this as a base underneath our eyes. This is just a light color. You could definitely go with a brown since we're gonna do browns under here and kind of bring it down a little bit further. You probably can't tell right now, but I am going to be bringing down my bangs in all the shots, so you're probably gonna have to see a little bit of that color since my bangs cover up a lot of the color on my eye lids. Diddy, are you listening to me? Diddy? Diddy? Oh, you okay? I was. I thought you turned it down to listen to me or something. Oh, I don't care. I'm just filming and I just thought you were turning it down. I didn't know if you needed to ask me something. Never mind. I love you. <laughs> okay, babe. All right. Amber Lights with a new 239 brush. You could use the same one that you used before. If you want to, you can just flip the other side, but... I'm using a new one and I'm gonna press that in right there just on the inner corner and I'm gonna bring it to the middle part of my eye where the pupil is and you'll see I'm bringing amber lights pretty far down I'm not trying to make it a thin line when we all decided who was gonna be who we did it based on our signs and Someone was a Pisces, I'm a Capricorn. Another one was, I think, a Gemini or Sagittarius or something. I don't know. I don't even follow that stuff. Maybe I should and I'd understand it more. But I didn't really want to be Earth because I've been Earth in a lot of the things. Like at school, I did a thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm taking, what am I taking? Foley? No, it's Embark. I'm taking Embark eyeshadow, the same 239 brush, and I'm going to pat this on out here. But anyway, so I have an old video called presenting dot 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 and I was Earth in that. And then for a theme day at work, I went as Earth as well. And I was kind of over it, but then today I was like, "You know what? It'll give me an excuse to wear otherworldly paint pot and I rarely get an opportunity to do that." So, you know, I was living. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm taking Embarker Foley, whichever one it is, I can't remember. They both would work so well. And I'm just pressing it right on top of that shade stick underneath my lashes, blending it with amber lights. Okay. So we're getting a little bit more earthy. Loves it. Oh. We're also getting a little powder in our eyes. Ooh. So go back with the carbon or just black eyeshadow and a blending brush. 
and we're trying to make down here almost look like dirt, sloppy. I don't know, just have fun with it. I might even smear it towards the later shoots or something like that if I want to look like I'm getting down and dirty with the earth. I really like adding a black to all different things because it just makes such a big difference. It really makes your eyes pop. I shouldn't do that. I jiggle too much. So now what we're going to do is find a green eyeliner. One of my favorites, Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. They really do last a long time. And we're going to apply this in the waterline area. You could even go with the black if you want, but this is going to be so dark anyway. And I think with the contrast of the gold there, it'll make for a good accent color. My eyes are really sensitive because my allergies are acting a fool. So if I start crying, you guys know why. <gasps> And then on the inner corner, I'm bringing it down a little bit more because I'm going to put a glitter on top of it. I sound so soft. I need to speak up, don't I? It used to be whenever I would talk like this, just being really quiet, people would be like, Matthew, what's wrong? Are you sick? Did someone die? How's your kitty? How's Jamie? Like they, they know all the friends that I put in my videos and stuff like that. It's really bizarre. Okay. And then I'm going to do black on the top here as my liner. So let me find my Black Track Fluid line. I love using gel bases for almost anything. But lately, I've been using a lot of powders. I don't know why. I do know why. It's because it's softer. <laughs> it makes for a softer look, and it's easier to do. This one, you have to really take your time. I swear, as soon as I do my eyeliner, I'll have a distraction. It always happens. Okay. Oh, maybe I should turn the cami like that. All right. So I'm using a 266 angle brush. And I'm just going to go right on top of my lash line. And I'm almost coming at an angle so that it blends in with my lashes a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the inner corner. Okay, so you see I made the line a little bit thicker on the outer corner and then it just tapers off towards the inner. Let's do that on the other side. Guess I'm going to have to make the eye section a three-part episode because I was going to do lashes. sexual okay so I'm gonna go ahead and make this part end of part two let's talk about lashes in part three